Hi, I'm Matthijs. I'm a software engineer with Edge Impulse. I'm at Data Science Africa for the second time. I was also last year in Kigali. I've had an awesome experience here. It's very rewarding to be with all the very intelligent and motivated participants. We gave a session in a lecture room on Edge Impulse explaining how to take the latest advances in large language models and foundational models to the edge, compressing the knowledge from a huge model down a million fold to a very tiny model that can actually run on an edge device with very limited memory and without internet connectivity. I think that's really cool. And we went into the field doing work on bioacoustics, showing how to make model to detect the activity of bird species around here, and really showing how this knowledge about machine learning transfers into a real application that can make a difference. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, opportunities. For example, my colleague Sarah has worked on preserving and locating rhinos based on the wrinkles around their eyes. Um, I've heard uh, some exciting stories from participants about detecting water levels here in Africa, detecting the, quali the water quality in lakes, very important for the local farmers. And I believe there are many more of these opportunities that I really hope that our presence and the Data Science Africa is helping to make people see what these opportunities are and actually give them the tools they need to execute on these opportunities. My name is Ipiana Moisekwa. I am from Tanzania, but I'm studying at uh, University of Rwanda in Rwanda. And um, I'm very happy to be here in attending this DSA 2024, and it's my first time. And um, the good thing about meeting people from different areas, it means that it provides an opportunity to learn and unlearn and um, expand more, gaining from more expertise. And personally, I've learned a lot from this DSA and um, I have acquired a lot of knowledge and I'm sure that um, I'm going to apply them and maybe in the next, uh, uh, the coming DSA next year, I'll be one of the people again to inspire others as well. So as IoT engineer, I'm doing, um, I'm pursuing master in IoT in embedded computing systems. Uh, as we know that IoT is related to data, it's just collection of data. But again, we can't collect this large or massive amount of data and just storing in cloud or waiting for uh, informed decision from the cloud. So in IoT, we integrate machine learning and uh, deep learning and every um, uh, uh, practices in, in artificial intelligence as the whole. In, in, in order to enhance uh, uh, different devices uh, to collect data and analyze data either at the edge or at the fog, whatever. And uh, then instead of sending that massive amount of data of, over the cloud, you just send informed decision for analysis and decision making for the future. So apply, um, um, data science is all about data. Uh, processing, collecting, analyzing and learning from those data and patterns. And IoT it's just the enabler on how to collect data from the field. And, um, and now we apply machine learning on top of that to make sure that these devices are very intelligent to be able to understand the data on themselves and then share uh, the, the last, like, it's like a, a product or informed decision just to simplify the process instead of having a massive amount of data over the cloud. I'm Ross and I'm a software engineer at Edge Impulse and this is my first year at Data Science Africa. Um, here in, uh, should we start again? I forgot where we were. Yeah, I'm too much of the yeah, we'll yeah. again. I'll just say DQ. Okay. Hi, I'm Ross. I'm a software engineer at Edge Impulse, and this is my first year at Data Science Africa, and I'm super happy to be here. We've met some really amazing people. Uh, hopefully, we've inspired them to get engaged with machine learning. Um, this week, we've been talking about Edge AI, and we've specifically been looking at bioacoustics and deployment of audio traps um, in the field, in the conservancy here. 
involves building um, AI models on edge devices. So edge devices are physical devices that live on the edge of a network. And there's a quite an intersection as well with this thing called TinyML. So this is when you're building machine learning models on constrained hardware with very limited resources, so RAM and ROM. Skills like uh, being mathematically um, adept are important, but of course I think the most important thing is just being inspired to do something. I think people, the, the most inspirational people are those who have a good idea, they immediately work out how they're going to do it, and that's, uh, that's probably the best thing, probably the best approach to, to getting involved in data science. Having a practical uh, issue that you want to solve. I'm Sarah and I'm a software engineer at Edge Impulse and I've been here for the first time at DSA this year but I've been to Kenya several times, this is the third time and I'm interested in wildlife conservation and edge, uh, edge machine learning is a good application of uh, wildlife conservation because you can put um, the analysis on the devices and this week I've met uh, so many inspiring students and I'm especially happy to connect with uh, many women in tech. Nita Rudi Hapa. Yes, when deploying uh, technology for wildlife conservation, it's important to make sure that the correct people get access to the devices and that they cannot just grab the device and get access to, for example, the, the locations of endangered species. <laughs> That's my local language. Um, my name is Helen Namlinda. I'm a master's student at Mackay University. I'm also a research scientist at the Mackay AI Lab. Uh, currently, I'm doing my master's in computer science. Uh, my research right now mainly is focused on uh, machine learning for drug discovery. I'm here at Dedan Kimathi University of Technology attending the DSA uh, 2024. Um, actually, this is my third DSA. I started in Arusha 2022, last year we in Chigali and now I'm here. It has really been an exciting journey since I joined as a beginner in 2022. I've been inspired throughout uh, the way. I mean, when I just started, actually things were quite like, I was like, yeah, maybe I can make it because in a, I was from the lab and yeah, I. When I, I was learning a lot from the people, uh, by then actually I had not even started my master's. So when I took on my master's, I was like, yeah, I have to apply the data science that I've learned. And actually that's how I ended up now applying machine learning. Of course, like I've always wanted biomedicine and I actually one of the areas right now is uh, not only the organizing diseases, but of course there's a lot of drug resistance and everything. So. We need to kind of develop new drugs. That's how my interest for drug discovery uh, came in. So I'm applying machine learning to drug discovery. And yeah, it's a really an exciting journey. And actually, even now this year that I'm here, yeah, there have not really been a lot of talks on uh, drug discovery of sorts. But I mean, machine learning generally in biomedicine or healthcare. I mean, I learn a lot and also uh, how to apply it now to also the other fields. Because if at all we are looking at, for example, the ethical concerns that come with the health sector, I mean, access to the data and everything, it cuts across not only the patient data, but also now this uh, medicine, um, chemistry data is also really confidential. So it may not learn like something as directly to your field, but uh, experiences of other researchers, yeah, they can be applied. So uh, I'm really excited to have attended this year. I've learned a lot from uh, the different people, from the different researchers, their experiences, especially with the data collection, and also now the concept of you know, uh, social good whereby with the tools that we are developing uh, using AI, they have it to be responsible. So yeah, I'm glad. and. Uh, I'm excited because yeah, my project, even me personally, I'm going to make it a responsible uh, product in the end. My name is Pacific Nyongabire. I'm coming from Burundi, uh, but uh, I'm pursuing a master's degree in embedded and mobile systems. But uh, my specialty is in embedded systems. Uh, and uh, I'm pursuing that master's at uh, Nelson Mandela African Institution of Science and Technology. At uh, in Arusha, Tanzania. Uh, actually, this is my, fa uh, my my second time to to attend DSA, 
Uh, my first time it was in Kigali, and then this is my second time. Uh, I learned a, a lot from others, expertise in this field, and uh, I think it will even help me to improve more. Uh, I haven't started working uh, with the data science and the machine learning, but I have some few basic information. Uh, attending this uh, event, uh, actually it has inspired me more uh, and uh, I've decided to, to go deep and deep to gain more. During this event, uh, my interest was in Edge Impass. Uh, as uh, I'm doing masters in embedded and mobile systems, uh, I was even motivated to pursuing my PhD in uh, embedded, uh, but by combining the data science and the, the embedded systems. Uh, so that's why I was uh, most uh, interested in Edge Impass uh, to use data science those machine learning in those 10 devices, uh, different uh, uh, microcontrollers, even those small devices. I'm my French speaker, and uh, I think for some of French speakers, it's a bit hard for them to attend these uh, English conferences, but uh, I would like to uh, encourage them to attend because uh, there are connections with others and they, it even inspires them to learn more in English and they, I would like to encourage uh, all students, researchers and the other individuals to attend this uh, event that science in Africa for them to improve or to spread these new technologies even in those French country speakers. En fait, je, suis, je parle le français, uh, mais j'ai participé dans une conférence au cœur, ils utilisent l'anglais. C'est pourquoi je voudrais encourager uh, beaucoup de gens, des chercheurs, des étudiants uh, qui parlent le français et qui ont peur d'atteindre déjà ce genre de conférence. Et ça, c'est pour vous encourager et vous allez apprendre beaucoup. Et ça va aussi aider votre pays, euh, puisque beaucoup de conférences se font en, en, en anglais. Donc n'ayez pas peur de, de, de l'anglais, mais il faut que vous attendiez dans ces genres de conférences. Euh, C'est un mot d'encouragement. Merci. Mon nom est Sam Gilom Sibi. Je suis de Eswatini. J'ai fait un Bachelor of Science and Information Technology at the University of Eswatini. I just recently completed my studies there, uh, but I am pending a, 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 pending a, a graduation. Um, uh, so today I am at Terminal DC Africa, hosted in Kenya at Terminal Dedan Kenati University. Uh, this is my second time attending the um, DSA summer school and workshop and I must say that it's um, a truly insightful and, and, and impactful event. Um, personally for me, um, I got uh, a lot of insights and, and ideas as to how I can make my project area more, like, more robust. Uh, I was doing a project um, entitled YOLO, YOLO like Yolo version 7 for like for like for like maze leaf light detection and here I have got a new insight as to as to how I can deploy it and how can I and how I can make the model more robust and um, even try to deploy it on like um, edge devices. Um, and I also managed to like um, learn other things more than that from um, um, natural language processing to like um, uh, foundational models to like um, a, to like um, data science in like um in like um for oh, <coughs> oh so and um, I went on to like um, learn to like um, learn about speech detection, NLP, foundational models, physical models, and um, how those they can be applied to to the context of um, Africa and how AI has so much potential for the African continent. As I have mentioned before that uh, 
that time before my undergraduate I was I was um, doing that project from the skills and, and knowledge I, I, ha I have learned here I am planning to like resume my project on that and pursue the like master's programs on it so yeah that those are current endeavors that I look forward to doing right now what was your project about oh I, I, oh my project was about using the object detection models for like for like means lift light detection but now i am but like but now i am looking to like like to more to like, in, to like incorporate other diseases and and possibly integrate pest identification and spot pesticide application on it